day to this episode is going to be on how to cut this particular top this is a turtle neck drop top as you can see it's not a usual top so today i'll be taking you on how to cut this and the full illustration on how to sew it so watch to the end if you are cutting out this particular style you need a pattern you cut, you cut it on a pattern that you place on the fabric to cut it out but here yeah, i'll be making use of this facing to cut it out before placing it on the on the fabric so the first thing i'll be doing here is to fold it into two this way this is into two the next thing i'll be doing is to take the shoulder measurement the arm measurement the bust measurement then the waist measurement then the length of the top the length of my top here let me start from um, the shoulder measurement which is 7.5 inches this is 7.5 inches so i'll be leaving one inch for shoulder slant one inch of shoulder slant then from here i'm going to take arm measurement of 7.5 inches then the waist measurement of 15.5 inches that's the, the half cut you can also call it a uh, half length so then the length of the top is going to be 25 inches i'm using 25 inches for the length of the top as you can see this is the armor measurement the half cut measure the half cut so the next thing that I mean is the bust measurement, which is 36 inches. Nine in four places is going to give us 36 inches with the same allowance of 1.5 inches. Then I'll be sketching it up to the shoulder length. As you can see. So for the waist measurement, the waist measurement is 32 inches with the same allowance of 1.5 inches. Then I'm going to connect the lines together, then to the main light. Okay, see? So the next thing here is to cut it out. So this is it now. The next thing here is to place it on the fabric. So before the pattern has any effect, I will be placing this on the fabric first for cutting out the back. So it's only the front that is going to have um, the drop effect. You can as well cut it to the back, depending on how you want to, but for this particular top, it's going to be at the front only. So that is why I'll be using this to cut the back first. So, after folding the fabric into two, then I'm going to place this on it. After placing it this way, I'll be cutting it out. So now, this is cutting of the back, as you can see. So I'm going to keep this aside. The next thing to do here is to cut this with an interval of 1.5 inches. Then I'm going to cut it out. Twenty five inches. So 
So now this is where we are. Then I'm going to fold the fabric into two. I'm going to place this on it to cut it out. So the distance here should be 1.5 inches you can see 1.5 inches this must be 1.5 inches and the last one is 1.5 inches as you can see so this is the shoulder now, this is the arm, and this is the length of the top. You can see the core part of the top now. So the way of cutting it out. So now, ready. this is the shape of the top. Let me notch the shoulder so I will know the shoulder measurement. Yeah. This is our shoulder. Let me take it off. This is the shape of the top. This is our shoulder now. As you can see, this is where the shoulder is. And this is the drop part of the top. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring up the back, then to cut out the neckline. I said it's touch neck, so the neck will not be that wide. So any excess at the front, you're going to place it at the shoulder. I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. So let me take the neckline measurement first. The widest of the neck here I'll be using 2.7 inches. Then the deepness. I'll be using two inches for the back, then 2.5 inches for the front. For the front. And I'm going to connect the lines together. You can see? So the first one I'll be cutting is the back. Then the front, so this is now you can see this is the neck. We're going to split all this. So I'm going to show you to you to see. So now, this is the shoulder, this is the shoulder, this is the neck. When you take them together, this is what it's going to give you. This is the neck, you can see. 
so this is going to have this this opening at the front you're going to join it together like this the front So this is how you get to join it. Just make sure you join it neatly. By the time you join it, it's not going to. Yeah. By the time you join it neatly, the journey is not going to show at all. So let me go and do that and show you how you need to go about it. So, so this is the first stitching that I say you're going to do by joining this front into two. You can see by joining this front, like by stitching this front, and this is what I've done here. You can see the benefit of this now is that if you want to put a zip, if this is going to have a zip at the front, you can easily put it and you can as well join it this way to look like this and you can also put a zip if you want. So the next thing I'll be doing here is to join the two shoulders together, then I'm going to join the um, sleeve, then stitch the side. But you can see the core at the front already. You can see it has formed already. You can see it. So let me go and join the two shoulders and join the armor. I'll show you. I'll show it to you. So this is the joining of the shoulder, the two shoulders. And the side. I've taken the stitching of the I took I've took the stitching of the side, the two sides, you can see. So the nice thing that remains here. Is to join the sleeve to it then I'm going to join the um, the two inches for the for the total neck to it but before then I'm going to slate it at the back this is the back so I'll be splitting it down here so at least five inches this is where I'm going to put the button so I'm going to make it out I'm going to make loop then I'm going to attach my button at the back you can see you can see the joining this is the shoulder after joining the shoulder you take the side joining with the measurement and this is the front and this is where if you are attaching a zip yeah this is where the zip is going to be you can see it at the front so our next tutorial is going to be a drop turtle neck with a front zipper so so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're watching for the first time so that by the time i upload a tutorial based on that you will be notified so let me go and do the joining of the sleeve then the turtle neck then i'm going to show you the finishing <laughs> 